Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are preparing for the .NET Core interview or just want to level up your backend dev skills, you are in the right place. In today's video, we are going through the top 25 .NET Core interview questions with a clear and detailed answer. So grab your notepad and let's get started. So first question is, what is .NET Core? .NET Core is a cross-platform open source framework developed by Microsoft. It allows developers to build modern web, desktop, console and cloud-based application that runs on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Unlike the older .NET framework, .NET Core is a modular, lightweight and fast, making it ideal for the microservices and containerization environment like Docker and Kubernetes like in previous uh, .NET uh, frameworks like we we don't have uh, features that we can deploy that application over the Linux or the Mac OS so .NET Core is having that feature which which provide you more flexibility to deploy your application in any platform so moving ahead with the second question what are the main features of the .NET Core. .NET Core offers many advanced features like cross-platform supports, performance and scalability improvements, unified development model for the web, cloud, desktop and IoT, side-by-side -side versioning. So you can run multiple app versions, built-in dependency injection. Microsoft.NET Core also provide you the feature built-in dependency injections. You don't need to configure it manually as uh, as previous frameworks. So next is easy integration with the Docker and Kubernetes. So you your application can integrate with with the uh, containerization easily with the Docker and Kubernetes services. It is designed for modern development lifecycle, build once, run anywhere. Moving ahead with the next question, what is the difference between .NET Framework and .NET Core? So if you are new in the .NET Core, I think you need to go and learn something related to .NET Framework as well. So I'm giving you the, the differences between .NET Core or .NET Framework. So .NET Framework is a legacy platform primarily used for Windows based application. It's, it doesn't support cross-platform developments. Cross-platform development means you cannot deploy your application over the Linux or over the Apache server. So you can only dependent upon the Windows based servers. So in .NET Core, you have a flexibility. You can install or you can deploy your application within any of the uh, servers or any of the machine, whether the machine is based on uh, Apache, the machine is based on uh, Windows, the machine is based on Mac, Mac OS. So .NET Core, however, is a design to be cross-platform, faster, more modular, and ideal for cloud native and microservices architecture. Also, .NET Core supports command line tools and better performance improvements. So moving ahead with the next question, what is CLR, Common Language Runtime? So you can say CLR is the heart of .NET runtime. It provides services like memory management, garbage collection, type safety, exception handling, thread management. Easily it takes your C sharp or VB code compiles into the intermediate language and then just in time compiles it to the native code for the execution. Moving ahead with the next question, question number five, what types of application can you build using .NET Core? .NET Core supports development of web application using SP.NET Core, console application, microservices, APIs, cloud native apps, IoT, 
cross-platform desktop application via MAUI or WPF or Windows uh, applications. You can also create minimal APIs and all. So there are so many things which you can create uh, using .NET Core. Moving ahead with the next question, question number six, what is middleware in the .NET Core? This is the most asked question in the interview. So please keep a note of this question. Middleware are the components that handle HTTP request and response. They added to the request pipeline using the configure method in the startup.cs class. Example include authentication, routing, course handling, exception logging, etc. You can even write custom middleware to plug in logic at any stage of your request cycle. So like you want to uh, create an uh, middleware to check whether the cookies is available uh, in the session or not in current session or not you can create your custom middleware and, and inject that middleware uh, in the request stage and and that 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 middleware will check uh, within the application and uh, and it will give you the response moving ahead with the next question what is dependency injection how is it used in .NET Core? Dependency injection is a design pattern that promotes loose coupling between classes. .NET Core has built-in dependency injection by default. You can register your services in the configure services method in a startup.cs class like below, like services.scope, interface my services and my services. So so this is the way you can add uh, methods uh, uh, in, in, in the startup uh, CS file. So this the framework will then inject these dependencies where needed via constructor injection. Question number eight, what is the role of startup.cs class in the .NET Core app? So startup.cs class is where you define the services of your application uses configure services, the HTTP request pipeline in configure. So it's configuration hub for your app. As you can, you can say also like this is the hub of your configuration for your application. All the things needs to be configured in the startup.cs file. Moving ahead with the next question, question number nine, what is the program.cs used for? Program.cs class contains the main method which is the entry point of .NET Core app. It creates the host, loads configuration and calls, calls startups.cs file. In .NET 6 plus program.cs used a minimal hosting model making the startup more concise moving ahead with the next question question number 10 explain mvc pattern in asp.net core mvc stands for model view and controller model holds the data and business logic views view is responsible for ui controller is responsible for handle request and return response this separation makes application easier to maintain test and scale question number 11 how is configuration handle in dotnet core dotnet core supports hierarchical configuration using sources like app setting .json, environment variable user secrets for development purposes command line arguments you can access them via the i configuration interface 